I spent 24 hours becoming overpowered in anime defenders. And here's how I did it. Alright, Skull Warrior. Let's see if we can get something good. Come on. Oh, we got a legendary. We got a legendary. Okay. We got Mihawk. Alright, that's really good to start off with. I then spend the first hour of being in the game, finishing the entire first world in the story. Alright, his price is... 50 more than what we need, but his damage is pretty good and his range is also really good. Let's see how he does. Alright, now we are talking. Line AoE, but good damage and a smaller cooldown. Alright, and I don't think there's any boss on this stage. Wow, that was really easy. Alright, and again, no boss for this stage. Another story cleared. Did I say story? I'm, I'm in stage. Of the day, another stage beaten. Clown Pirate is the final boss of the first world. Oh, he, he turned into a car! Yo! But we did beat him, and we are done with the first world. I then spend the next hour doing a few side quests like summoning and challenges, but mainly finishing the second world in the story. I just realized there hasn't been a single flying enemy yet, so I'm getting a little worried <laughs> all right this is uh, getting a little tough <laughs> but we still beat it all right we we like barely won that oh are we dead we did it Yippee! all right let's see how hard this challenge is and hopefully able to do it all right hopefully my three me hogs back there has that we're letting a lot of leaks through Frick, I'm so dead. Come on. There we go. Okay. Come on. Oh, at least give me a legendary, please. God damn it. Ah. Uh, Alright, I didn't even notice that we won that, but uh, that, was, that was really easy. Alright, another relatively easy stage. Alright, I think we got this world in the bag. The shield ability is a little annoying, but it's still really easy to beat. Oh, come on, Mihawk. There we go. For the next hour, I just kind of did the same thing that I did for the other two. Did a few challenges in summoning, but mainly finished the third story. Please, bro. God. Oh my god. Wait, I won? <laughs> oh my god, guys. He got beaten again! Alright, another act done. Alright, one more story stage to go. Oh, oh, it got past. And we've beaten story. During hours four to seven, I do some infinites, challenges, and other things. The game officially releases, which means I have to go carry my friends in story again. We got three ten spins. We'll do one now. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not I'm not touching that ban until it resets. <laughs> Dang, that was easy. Please give me carp. Oh carp, carp, carp. Oh, okay, we got, we got a legendary. I'm gonna go tiny tax gems for the night, and hopefully we'll have enough gems so we can get our first ever mythical. And reminder, the time that is AFK'd in this series will not be counted. So let's get to it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. The game has officially released and I have enough coins to make the guild. Never mind, no I don't. Alright, I'm gonna carry these newbies throughout story. Alright, Act 4 boss is gone. World 1 in hard mode has been completed. Okay, I got a legendary. Alright, Kizaru. Oh, wait, we, we didn't even beat it. Wait. Oh, frick. We're, we're kind of losing. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Ooh, this is getting close. Frick. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we beat it, though. Okay. I'm gonna need a mythical soon, dude. This is getting really hard. All right, there's the last stage. All right, we barely... Okay, okay. We barely did it. Ooh, that was so close. Alright, let's see how far this squad can go. Oh my god, we're already losing. I looked away for like five seconds, dude. There's... Alright, this is again gonna be a little tough. As long as there's no gimmicks, I think we win this entire world. Okay, excuse the lawnmower in the background, but we beat Act 2. 
Alright, again, ignore the lawnmower in the background. Free Ren is in banner. Are you kidding? Rapid got it? Well, on the plus side, we got this cool cosmetic, and we can make a guild. What is this eight character limit? This is actually doable. <laughs> Thank God. There we go, just like that. Easy. All right, Magito got through. Oh, he's dead. And we've completed all of story in hard mode. After I finish the story in both normal and hard mode, for the next seven hours, nothing really happened. I think the most notable thing was me deciding on a name for our guild and actually making the guild. There we go, we have our guild after sitting here forever making this. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is a really cool system. It even has a message thing? This is the best guild system on tower defenses. And if you want to join the guild, you can join my discord in the comments down below. All you gotta do is have a decent team and be active, and there's a good chance that you'll get in. But getting back on track, for 7 hours, nothing really happened. Until things started moving again. 2,500 gems. If we don't get it, the next time we spin, we will have pity. Oh my god, there it is! There he is! There he is! Yo! Let's go! Finally, over 12 hours in to this video, we finally have Sukuna. Alright, alright, come on, come on. Let's get Garp, or Bochi. Oh my god, I got Garp. Oh my god, I got Garp. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got Garp. Alright, we're gonna try and get Bochi, because she's a farm end buff. There she is, alright. Nice! Alright, let's try and get something good on Garp. Double- Huh? For the last 10 hours of the challenge, I had two missions left. Evolve both of my mythics, and get even more mythics. Freaking recording file got deleted, but my friends have so graciously helped me get enough stars to get the Garp Evo item. Prime. Alright. He looks really cool and overpowered. Now to evolve Sukuna, I'm gonna need one more green star, two rainbows, four more purple, 12 red, and 24,000 gold. Yikes, dude. <laughs> now it's time to test out Prime Garp. All right, 1,000 damage on placement, 6.8 second cooldown, and 19 range. Three placements. All right, his next move is triple shot, doing 5,000 damage, 7.8 second cooldown, and 22 range. Where now he's just throwing three cannonballs instead of one. Upgrade four is Admiral Strike, where it becomes a pretty thick line AoE, doing 9,000 damage every 9.8 seconds with 25 range. At upgrade seven, we have Colossal Demolition, doing 12,000 damage every 10.7 seconds with 27 range. At upgrade nine, he has Monumental Destruction, doing 17,000 damage every 11.7 seconds with 35 range. And at upgrade 11, he gets Galactic Collision, doing 20,000 damage every 15.6 seconds with 37.9 range. Alright, let's see Galaxy Impact. Ooh, it's full AoE! Okay, 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 let's see this. Ooh, ooh hold on, hold on. Damn! That looks clean! I see why people call him the best unit in the game. The last thing that we need to do before this 24 hours end is to evolve the King of Curses. Alright, my friend is giving me the final rainbow star that I need. And now we have the final cursed finger. But now, cursed king. Ooh, I got S range? Dude, he looks sick! We are now in the last hour of the 24 hour challenge. So let's check out Evolved Sukuna. Alright, 730 damage on placement with 4.5 second cooldown and 20 range. Damage is a little low, but he also bleeds. Alright, upgrade 3, he gets Cleave Slam, doing 3,700 damage every 7.2 seconds with 24 range. A very good attack that is really early in the Sukuna's moveset. At upgrade 5, we get Cleave Barrage doing 6,000 damage every 8.1 seconds with 26 range. At upgrade 7, he gets Fire Arrow, doing 8,300 damage every 9 seconds with 30 range. 
very slow attack and at upgrade 9 he gets flame arrow doing 12,700 damage every 10.8 seconds or 34 range where it's fire arrow but better and at upgrade 12 he's gonna get dimension expansion he has a huge circle aoe and he's gonna be doing 17,000 damage every 9 seconds with 39 range. Plus, he's still bleeding, and he finally loses that long freaking startup. This unit is really cool. 24 hours is now done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because this game is hella fun. I am really enjoying it right now, and I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I just want to give a huge thanks to all my friends that helped me fail with this video. I would not have been able to do nearly as much things that I did if it weren't for you guys. And I had so many fun interactions with you guys, the viewers. Really, really cool that I got to meet so much of you who actually recognized me. And I can't wait to possibly meet even more.